Hello and welcome to join us. I'm Yuan Yuan with Xinhua News Agency giving you a live broadcasting at Dezhou, East China's Shandong province. And Dezhou is known as the Sun City in China. And today our topic is about the sun. As we can see behind me and around here, there are a lot of houses. But these houses are not ordinary ones. They are solar powered houses. These houses are participating in the ongoing solar decathlon is held in the Zhou. As we all know, the solar decathlon is the Olympics in the solar energy realm, initiated by the United States Department of Energy. Solar decathlon is an international collegiate science and technology competition of solar powered houses. With technologies and innovations from world-leading research and development and design teams, the event aims to integrate solar energy, energy conversation, and architecture design, a new way to design and build a comfortable, livable, and sustainable solar house with four functions. This is the longest house among the 19 houses and the team said the house will heal the city, how to heal the city and why they designed the longest house and what's the function of the house. Come with us and find the answer. And now we will welcome a friend Lucy to join the live show. And hi Lucy and say hello to our audience. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Lucia Filippini from Poly Politecnico di Torino in Italy. And uh, I'm a team member of SCAT Polito team, which is a collaboration between South China University of Technology and Politecnico di Torino. And our project is called Long Plan. Why is it called Long Plan? Because as you can see, it's a long and narrow house and uh, it's also a long plan for the future. So this is the main concept of the, the name. And why uh, you and your team members to design and establish the longest house? Because uh, we started uh, thinking about the problems of our contemporary cities, um, especially as we know uh, Chinese cities as, as the problem of uh, uh, urban uh, population growth, and uh, especially young uh, emerging family uh, wants to move from the countryside to the city and um, also the old town needs to be regenerated and uh, reactivated from the social and economic point of view so we think that the long and narrow house is the best way to um, as have an efficient use of land and uh, have uh, ecological and social benefits at the same time and uh, we know that this is a traditional architecture typology which is used not just in China, but also in the European countries, especially. Okay. And uh, what's the area the house is occupied? Yeah, we have 140 square meters inside the house. They are divided, as you can see from, uh, from uh, this drawing. We draw the, the section of the building. We have uh, the ground floor, which is the social space, so with the kitchen and living room, while the second floor is the private space with the two bedrooms. And... Uh, so we have uh, 4.5 meters of wide and 18 meters of length of the building. These are the dimensions. And uh, the same area for a piece of land, how many houses like a long plan could be established compared to ordinary ones? Uh, in this area, actually, there wouldn't be just one unit, but you have to imagine five units. So we wanted to maximize the use of land because as we know, the land consumption is a really big issue nowadays. So um, we need to improve the land consumption and the best way is to use this kind of dwelling architecture. Okay. Hello everyone. Just now my colleague has, has uh, showed us and shared with us what the house of Long Plan has got in store for us. This is Sea House um, Lang Gong Lai with Xinhua News Agency. We are doing a live broadcasting on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. And uh, we are at Solar Village in Dezhou, China's eastern province of Shandong, and for the Solar Decathlon 2018. I'm really excited to bring this competition to you. And this competition is said to be the one that really challenges the students um, from all around the world to design and build 
uh, solar powered houses. And what we are going to do today is to check out this Z house and find the secrets hidden in this house. And uh, let's uh, find uh, some and let some the members of the team to tell us uh, what are the incredible innovations that go into a house like this. So, uh, hi, I'm Lan Gong Lai. So, what's your name? Nice to meet you. Uh, I'm Tang Song. Uh, Tang Song. So, uh, can you tell us more about uh, the house? Like, uh, why is the name? Why it is called Sea House? Okay, the Sea House is based on two concepts. It's a basic logic that we use in design. It's mm -hmm. a cube which you can see from the outside mm -hmm. and an integrated technical core in, mm -hmm. inside, which mm -hmm integrate all the service space and uh, pipes and equipment. So like the C stands for cube and, uh, and core. core. So yes, the sure. core is basically an energy heart for this house. So yeah. yeah. So what 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 are these uh, yellow band? Yeah, it's band that we can show our relations with the public because we really want the public receive our concept. Mm -hmm. We give a yellow uh, to a yellow one to the public. If they like that, he will sure. tidying our structure. So you got a lot of visitors. Yeah, a lot of visitors every day. Uh, yeah. So this, uh, this are these uh, solar panels? <laughs> yeah, sure. It's it's our basic concept that we want to use this house not as a house with cons consumed energy. We want the house to generate the energy. So that is we want this house to be a because it's a cube. We want it to be a small. Uh, energy station. Mm -hmm. We gener uh, we we integrate more uh, two hundred solar panels in this facade. Two hundred. Yeah, panels. we can uh, generate one hundred and fifty uh, kilowatt one hours one day if the weather is very good. good. Yeah. So one. So how many kilo kilowatts? One hundred and fifty. One hundred kilo uh, and fifty kilowatts. Kilowatt yeah, one hour. Yeah. Good day. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, perfect. Yeah, we can really save a lot of energy and share it to the yeah. to the grid and. Uh, and uh, to a neighborhood. Yes. That's our basic. Yeah. So, cool. Perfect. So, what's uh, what's this pillar? What's, what's yeah, this Yeah, it's a uh, it's a it's a face ID. You can like this thing. If you scan my face. Uh huh. Okay. And oh, sorry. And uh, yeah, we can open the door. It will, rec it will recognize your face. Coming. Great. So yeah. let's look at the interior. Wow. And yes, you can see. Um, I just mentioned about our sustainable design about the use of the energy. Now I will introduce the sustainable design about the space. The space. The space. Yes. yes. Because our concept is because the core, the cube and the core, mm -hmm. there is a flowing space around the core with no wall. That is our thinking. That we wanted to make the steady thing, the expensive thing, more steady, mm -hmm. and make the function more flexible. And mm -hmm. you can change all the things that you want with mm -hmm. a very low cost. That we think is sustainable because. Nowadays, you know uh, how a build, the, the function of building always change yes. a few days because mm -hmm. yeah, the rapid was was everyone wanted to open, want to be social. Yeah, it's changeable. Yeah, yeah it's just, that's our 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 basic idea. Yeah. So what's so special about this area? So wow, it's it's a uh, um, this is a core that I said. It's not a basically not the core concept you think. It's the two floor with this facade. Also, floors. we call it as a core. Core. And so core, this is the yeah. Facade of, uh, of the core. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this 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 material is uh, recycling fabric, uh, recycling plastic, and make mm -hmm. it as a fabric. We always use as floor, but we use it in, as uh, in the wall. Mm -hmm. And behind this material, we and uh, have the mats. You can see from that corner, the blue one is a mat. We have three layer mat, which would uh, exchange heat with yeah, which would exchange the heat with. Uh, with waters and, uh, and airs that were cooling down or heating this our space. Mm -hmm. Yes. So the components inside, uh, are, I'm hearing that uh, some components inside the core is shipped from uh, Germany. Yeah, sure. So, so how many does it take to, uh, to ship all this? Uh, yeah, components? we want to use this core and they use the most advanced technicals in Europe. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we made this core in the Germany. We have research. Uh, combined to research it for more than one year, and uh, in the uh, January of this year, and this uh, tear into four parts to, to shape to China, just four directly parts. to Dozhou, mm -hmm. and then we assemble it again, just uh, not far away from here. Mm -hmm. And then we tear it down, and then we uh, disassemble it, and then we assemble it here. It's really the, the real uh, assembly and disassembly. Uh, is this uh, the, the, the core, the, the energy? Core, core, yeah. If the core is our the heart of our building. This is heart of the core mm -hmm. because it's our equipment room. 
Yes, so, must be important. So tell us more about it. Yes, really exciting moments. That yes. Wow, Toby. Yeah. Hello. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> it's not the engineer Toby. Oh, the, the teammate. He's teammate. The member. Yeah, yes. our team member. Uh, okay. Yeah. This is uh, this is the core that we put every uh, system in here, mm -hmm. and we put the the the, the sonar uh, system. They put the electric system. We put the heat pump system, uh, cooling and the uh, heating, and all in this the equipment. Cooling, cooling, yeah. Yeah, water all the things, system. waters, electric. And uh, yeah, you can see this blue one and the yellow one is our two converter to control the uh, three facade of the solar panels. And wow. we have the, uh, the, 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 the sil silver one is yeah. our battery, which can see. The solar and, one is battery. Yeah, the yeah. battery. And all the things here is electric and all the things in your left is, uh, is the water things, is the heat pump, it has a heat exchange, mm -hmm. uh, water with uh, air. So it's a lot of uh, engineering here. Yeah, it's really yeah. A, a complex thing. We also, um, creatively use this black one. You can see it's ice storage mm -hmm. because in summer light you cannot get the electric from the from the sky from the light. Yes. But how can you cooling down the system? Yeah. So we use the more power we save to 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 to, to create that ice and the yes. ice in night ice will will cooling down your your space again like Perfect. that. Perfect yeah, idea. yeah. So I think maybe someone will curious about this iPad yeah. I put here. So what's it for? Yeah, this is for. Sorry. Oh, this is for the whole whole smart system. Mm -hmm. Everything was can controlled in here. This is night. This is temperature. This is sun shading, and so you, you can, can control the, yeah the whole, whole environment. Oh uh, yeah, you, this, uh, you can check the, the the water temperature in your system, mm -hmm. and also you can check every room mm -hmm. the the temperature of every room. Mm -hmm. Just I can show maybe I can show one thing like, um, you can control like the 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 panel one if you just click and everything wow. was well done by this cool. panel. Yeah. Cool, just one click. Okay. Like this thing. So let's let's move. Yes. Okay. So I'm uh, I'm hearing that uh, there are ten contests that uh, every team are trying to yeah, to win yeah, yeah. and uh, to be <coughs> and they want to be the final grand uh, champion yeah, for this yeah. for this uh, yes. solar champ uh, That's why we put the the this one. contest so, for 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 two years, that's we waiting for this, con is, is is competition. So so comfort must be one of the disappointments, one of the contests, right? Comfort ruin. Yes. Yeah. So can you show show us the uh, the bedroom area? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And uh, one small thing is for this electric track. And, wow. What's uh, this? Yeah. It would, because our, we really want to let this space free, just like and uh, everywhere you can just get the electric. So you can take this these modules everywhere, and if you found you add, I, wow, I shot one more here. You that's amazing. Get so it down and you get an electric. So everything is movable. So yeah, everything is movable. convenient. Yeah. Yes. So the bedroom area is uh, where is the bedroom? Two floor. Yes. Yeah, so let's go. Go stair. Yes. Uh, for those of you who are just joining us, uh, please feel free to leave your comments, questions. Glad to hear from you and uh, hear uh, where you are from watching this. And uh, we are doing a live broadcast on Facebook and YouTube and Twitter for Solar Decathlon 2018 in Dezhou City of China. So, yeah. um, this uh, is our, our bedroom area. We don't see a room because we want to do the share space. What didn't want to our uh, the war limit our room, so you can yes. regard it as two room. Here, there is a bed, a kids room. Here yeah. is a is a men men bedroom. Mm -hmm. But we also can regard it as one room because if you want didn't want it as a normal room, you want make it as a maybe startup office or community service. Yes. You want to make this more open. Amazing, yeah. Just so open it and, and every bedrooms. space was open for yes. us. And also, uh, we want this this space be clean. Mm -hmm. For for your, for your, for using, but also you need some functions. So we just integrate all the functions in this furniture. What's, what's behind this? It's a two bed, two two person bedroom. It's a bed. Bedroom. Yes. Yeah. If you rotate it and uh, you pull this down, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, you can, you can show like you can help me with yes. that one. Yeah. Oh, very very okay. space saving. It's a place for, for sleeping. Yes. Like this. So everything is uh, in this room is convertible and movable. Yeah. Yes. And uh, yeah, and uh, I also want to show you about the 
the bathroom in the, the second floor. Mm -hmm. oh, because so we, we think most people will use it most of the time in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. It will do, spend so many time here in the morning and light night. Yes. So yes. how we just uh, improve their experience or healthy, so we, we just generate this uh, this Android system in this smart mirror, and mm -hmm. if you will just stand here, you can see they will uh, go into deliver your you got your weight I'll see the data in here and yes. uh, and you can see the months the, the week the months the year and wow. you also you can if you think yeah today I'm so so beautiful so you can take a take a <laughs> take a camera yeah. yeah like yeah like like this yeah cool handsome <laughs> so um, so that's basically what about the bedroom area right yeah yes and uh, let's uh, find uh, um, the expert let's find uh, uh, a member of the organizing committee of this competition, and I'm also told he is uh, also a referee for this competition. So let's learn more about this competition. And uh, now we invited uh, um, uh, a member of the organizing committee of this competition, and he is also the referee of this competition. So, uh, hi. Are I'm Lang Lai. I'm fine. Yeah, Lang Lai from uh, Xinhua News Agency, and we are doing a live broadcasting show uh, on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. So, uh, tell us your name, please. Uh, my name is uh, Hong Xinyin. Yeah. And, uh, I'm uh, uh, the director for the st st steering committee of mm -hmm. Solar Decathlon on China 2018. Mm -hmm. I'm also an uh, associate professor mm -hmm. of uh, 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 Washington University in St. Louis. Mm -hmm. So this uh, doctor in with us. So. Can I ask you tell us? Uh, could you tell us more about this comp competition? Like, uh, what's the house? What's the house that most attracts you? That the oh, most thing. That's that's hard that's hard topic. Mm -hmm. um, um, uh, most uh, attract uh, every team has their uh, unique uniqueness uh, mm -hmm. in there. For example, this team, uh, the Southeast and uh, and the uh, German uh, team, mm -hmm. they they have uh, they focus on energy on system mm -hmm. system integration. Mm -hmm. They treat the building as a power plant, mm -hmm. so it's a plus power generated. Mm -hmm. For example, what they said, 100, 150 kilowatt hour per day generation. Mm -hmm. They only using 70 kilowatts. So that's a vivid example how building could be in the future a small scale power distributed power plant. Mm -hmm. So this is the uh, a unique of this team. Mm -hmm. And other team next door, the team is from yes. Xi'an University, mm -hmm. and uh, they very very much focus on the. Uh, on the uh, rural area setting. Mm -hmm. So different teams have their own, define their own uh, 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 topic. Yes. So they de develop their building and the system and the system integration uh, 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 with uh, uh, prefab prefabrication technology mm -hmm. and also uh, the renewable energy. Mm -hmm. So I would say uh, every team has, has their, the beauty of, yes. of, of the characteristics. So. Uh, second question: What's what's your expectations for uh, these uh, students' team? Because they are all students, college students. Oh, okay. Yes. And uh, what's your expectation for the whole program, for the whole competition? Well, first of all, the, the students they have dream, mm -hmm. so they they have future because yeah, they are young. Exactly. They in the school they dreaming uh, their the future. So mm -hmm. we call this the future house or dream house yeah. of the future. So they uh, normally explore, explore the most advanced technology existing in, in industry, uh, no matter if from German or from China, from uh, French, for example, from uh, uh, Canada, mm -hmm. from United States. Mm -hmm. So tentatively, they uh, develop their houses uh, based on, uh, around this advanced technology and then put them together. Mm -hmm. So I would not say this is a, re a normal house or regular house. Mm -hmm. It's more, of, more or less is uh, the future uh, uh, technology yes. and we will see that f within three or five years mm -hmm. this technology based on students work mm -hmm. and it could be developed into the uh, low cost mm -hmm. affordable uh, affordable housing mm -hmm. and also uh, uh, um, could be uh, ac accepted by the, uh, the public uh, thanks thanks wish uh, good luck to uh, all the teams uh, thanks uh, dr. Ian uh, yes uh, for those of you who are joining us we are doing a live uh, uh, tour situation at a solar uh, village in Dezhou city of China and uh, it, what you see here is truly futuristic you can see homes that most of the components are 3d printed you can see homes that um, components are, are movable are clickable on the track you can see homes that 
uh, are um, metal 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 shed or hay barns, but still are masterpieces of technology. So uh, come and visit us and have a glimpse of the future living. So this is basically about our uh, live tour, and I'm Langong Live with the Xinhua News Agency. So see you next time. Bye.